Mankato Area Public Schools Center for Learning will see a school forest and a prairie just outside its backyard in the upcoming school year. Here's Nikki Hallman with the details. It's exciting to, to have it here. The outdoors are great for playing, but they are also great for learning. Children ages infant to five will soon get a peek into outdoor education. You know, we're connecting families to nature. You know, it's a, it's a peaceful area. The school board recently approved plans for a forest and prairie site. The next step is to register as an official school forest. In the meantime, staff have connected with prairie enthusiasts and a DNR forester to help with the planning. To think about how we can use our outdoor environments to cover all those core academic areas, uh, encourage exploration and creativity, um, and just spend more time outside. Gog said as the kids will be learning about trees, shrubs, plants, flowers, and more, that it will be a great addition to the Learning Center. It will be a dramatic change in the sense of how we think about school. The school is working with the DNR to get maple and oak seedlings for the forest, while the prairie will be a pollinator garden space for families to enjoy. Hurley explained with the forest and prairie, kids will gain hands-on experience, learn about responsibility and teamwork, and of course, the outdoors. They're going to be learning about the environment, the plants, the trees. Um, the animals, the wildlife. Kids will participate in planting while families will be invited to help when the fall and spring season begins. The Learning Center thanks those who've helped make this project happen. The community um, support with this, especially the DNR and Prairie enthusiasts and our maintenance and um, facilities department. In Mankato, Nikki Hallman, KEYC News Now.